damn it, I can't find anybody to replace me. And believe me, 26 years later, we still have that same situation. There is no one quite like our next performer. It is my privilege and pleasure on the part of Funko Classic to welcome my friend and the incomparable Mr. Seamus Kennedy. Well, Cunningham, the founder of the feast, as it were. Thank you very much for having me back every year, Greg. And you know what? Uh, I do festivals all over the country. And honest to God, this is the best. Do you in no small measure to the volunteers and the organizers who put this on? But they're only about 25%. The other 70% is you guys. And of course, the sound man. We have Anthony on the big board right there in front of the house, and over here we got Colin. We did a great job making us sound good. And of course, Colin is the one who looks like Jerry Garcia. Except he's alive. <laughs> if you can call it that. Uh, I'm going to start off with a song. I, mean, I start off every show with this song, and it's not because I want to, it's because people keep asking me to start off with it. So I'll do this until you learn a new song. It's Whiskey in the Jar. You can clap your hands four times, twice, and then once. Ready? Make sure you go.
I noticed as soon as those two people left, these two people swooped in and took their seat. Why do these ladies fart? We had to move over from this one. Oh, never mind. Sorry. <laughs> Didn't mean to pry. I'm going to continue here with a song called The Black Velvet Band. This is one of the very few Irish songs in which a girl gets a guy in trouble and leaves him. It's usually the other way around, which is why I'm here in the United States today. Yes, I got a guy in trouble. Definition of a gay Irishman. It's a fellow who prefers women to liquor. And the chorus goes, her eyes then shone like diamonds. You'd swear she was queen of the land. And her hair hung over her shoulders, tied up with a black velvet band. participating in the song. Ready? Try the actions with me. Her eyes, they shone like diamonds. You'd swear she was queen of the land. And her hair hung over her shoulders, tied up with a black velvet band. One more time, ready? Her eyes, they shone like diamonds. You'd swear she was queen of the land. And her hair hung over her shoulders, tied up with a black velvet band. This is going to be special. Her eyes, they shone like diamonds. He swear she was queen of the land. And her hair hung over her shoulders, tied up. Stop, stop, stop. You three, honest to God, what the hell are you doing? You look like you're bringing a 747 in for a landing. Look like you're having a seizure for this. You know what to do if an epileptic has a seizure in the bathtub? Throw it in your laundry. Okay, so we're on that one. It's where she was queen of the land. Oh, 
better right this time. Are you ready? You're going to lose your beer privilege. Oh, Mary Lines, Mother, thank you. Mary Lines, Mary Me. Uh, close enough. Go to Mary Me. Let's do some of the chorus. And we'll all go together. 
Two o'clock, Wild Mountain Time. That's T H Y N E. All around the bloomin' heather, will you go, lassie, go? And when you sing it with us, you don't have to spell it the way I just did. Just sing it. We'll all go together to pluck Wild Mountain Time. All around the bloomin' heather, will you go, lassie, go? Should we start with the chorus and let them hear how it sounds? All right.
love it. You may deduce from watching us that the performers all really love each other. We really do. And we love to jam and get together because we don't normally get a chance to do it except when we're performing at festivals. And it's a real delight to perform with these guys. Thank you. Okay, it's time for your lovely yodeling lesson. I like to teach everybody how to yodel so you can all do it with me. And then when the Polish festival and the German festival comes around here, you'll fit right in. Jimmy Stern and Frankie Yankovic, they will just love you for joining in and doing this. I went across to Switzerland where all the others be.
Oh, too late. <laughs> but no, these guys make the best caramel and candy corn ever. They are, they're friends of mine. If you go over and mention my name, they give you half price off the bags of corn. Of course, they don't know anything about this deal. It might be worth a shot. Take some home with you. I do love their problem. Hey, all the kids in the audience, want to see something really cool? What's this? It's called picking your nose. Here's how you get it. It's not dirty. Whenever you think about this, pretty much everybody in America is an immigrant. Our ancestors were our grandparents, were. I don't know why I am. And I heard a great story about there was a lady in line in a store waiting at the checkout to pay. She was on the phone talking in, in a foreign language or a language that was foreign to the gentleman behind her, behind her who happened to be one of these guys who doesn't like immigrants to the US. And he tapped her on the shoulder. He said, excuse me, you're in America now. Speak English or go home. She turned to him, she said, I'm speaking Navajo, you go home.
Oh, my God.